So today we're at Wildwood Conservation Area up near St. Mary's, um, helping out the staff here doing some uh, gypsy moth egg mass removal. Um, but uh, last fall and this winter so far, we've also been working in uh, London's environmentally significant areas. So we're, we're under contract with the City of London and they provide funding for our, for our team to manage those uh, 12 environmentally significant areas. And uh, to date, uh, since last fall, we've scraped off over 8,000 egg masses in those areas. So we'll continue that up until um, early April as well. So just helps to um, reduce the population for gypsy moth this coming summer. And it's sort of what we can do at our level from the ground to, uh, to help reduce the population. We're gonna try to remove some of the egg masses from the lower portion of the trunk or stem of the tree. It's kind of the only thing that we can do as you know homeowners or average citizens on their property. And so basically we're literally just gonna scrape the egg masses off and collect them up uh, to try to reduce the population for this coming season. We have a gypsy moth egg mass here and we're gonna just scrape it off the tree, try to collect as much of it as we can so we can dispose of it properly later. We don't leave those eggs on the ground and that's about it. So it's simply just scrape them and try to collect as much as possible so we can dispose of them later. So gypsy moth runs on about a, a cycle, about every seven to 10 years, we see a, a, a rise in the gypsy moth population. And uh, right now we're probably mid to, to late in that sort of that range. Gypsy moth overwinters on the bark uh, along the trunk, as well as in the upper crown, um, overwinters there until about April. About mid to late April, they'll start to pupate, they'll turn into their larval stage. And then that larval stage, um, once the larvae comes out, they're about two inches or so, 50 millimeters long. And they'll start to climb up the stem into the crown. They'll start to feed on those leaves. Then they'll uh, come back down the stem um, and then they'll turn into their, once they're up in the crown, that's when they, they turn into their, their moth stage. They'll come back down and then until uh, about July. And then July feeding stops usually that's when they um, lay their eggs and then they'll start to overwinter uh, that sort of process from there on uh, until next April uh, when they emerge again and the whole cycle begins again. Uh, yeah, I guess it's twofold. One, it's uh, an opportunity for staff to learn and do something different uh, for a morning uh, to be better educated to our, to our users that come in and, and see the gypsy moth and, and, and what it's doing. Uh, and then the other part of it is, is to reduce the population here. Um, and uh, hopefully make a, make a difference in the campground and the experience that people have here uh, this summer.